The Melrose Golden Wildcats were a surprise in 2022, hosting their best record in years, finishing 9-2, and two, but didn't finish the season the way they wanted to. Honestly, it left a bit of taste in our mouth. Uh, the thing I remember most is not winning the playoff game. Uh, that's why this year's slogan for us is unfinished business. Uh, we did a great job of taking care of business in the city. Uh, now we're trying to move on and continue to grow our program and try to get our first playoff win. And hopefully they can build on us a great playoff run this year. Making a run could be a reality this season. The reigning region champs return top players like Ryan Brown. He had a breakout campaign, making a name for himself. He's one of the city's premier backs. He got his feet wet last year, uh, did some great things, led the city in rushing, so trying to build on that, but also just trying to get him in the mix in many different ways, returning some kicks, uh, lining him up in the slot, also playing in the backfield as well, and trying to see if we can not only go for 1,500, but see if we can go for 2,000 yards rushing this year. Joining Brown are other returning playmakers like quarterback Sadat Muhammad and top transfers William Carver and Joe Williams. They're expected to make a huge impact. We have a quarterback competition going on. We return starter Sadat Muhammad threw for 20 touchdowns and four interceptions. Uh, then you add William Carver to the mix. Uh, he can play quarterback. He can play receiver. You'll see him line up at defensive back as well. Uh, so we have two guys that can really tote the load and lead the team at the quarterback position. Uh, then we move to our offensive line. Uh, we return three starters. Irvin Jackson, uh, he's our go-to guy. He's our center. Uh, then we return guard Caden Harris and uh, tackle Deshaun Plummer. And then we move over to our defensive side of the ball. We return a uh, uh, sophomore linebacker, Lonnie Tate, had 100 tackles last year as a sophomore. He'll be a junior. Uh, you add Cody Balkan in the mix with that. Uh, then we return guys like Cameron Miller, Carmelo Bogan. Uh, so all of those guys will be a, a, a true product of what we do on defense. Um, and then we got some faces at receiver that you can't get. Uh, Mr. Travion Baker, Mr. Joe Williams. Uh, you got uh, uh, Terrence Wallace and uh, Rashawn House. Uh, so we definitely got some key skill guys in some uh, positions. Not to sound a little too conceited or not, but uh, man, it's either gold ball or bust for us. You know, this community want to rally behind a, a, winning, a winner and a champion. So we're just trying to put our hat on the gold ball. You know, if we come up short of that, then we failed our goal this season.